Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Kyle Bazzi, president here at Benzinga, bringing you the Benzinga FinTech Awards. We're looking for the brightest companies, the best people, and the most innovative products with one goal in mind, helping you create wealth either through the markets or anything that has to do with um, your finances. Up next we have um, News Edge and Kevin Evenhouse here, the president and founder. Kevin, good morning. Hey, good morning, Kyle. Thank you. Glad you guys are here. Um, let's get a little bit of a background before we jump into it about what News Edge is, who are you guys, how did you guys start, um, things of that nature. You know, it's, uh, News Edge started uh, about mid-2012 and we were having, uh, as a trader myself, I was on the floor of the CME and I've been trading for roughly uh, 10 plus years and one of the issues that I always had was uh, when something moved, uh, it, it, it could possibly affect my position and uh, we were having a hard time finding out immediately what it was that was affecting the spoos, for example. Uh, it could be oil breaking, it could be the dollar, uh, it could be a number of things, uh, Apple. And, and, and that's kind of what uh, spawned the idea of trying to track the markets uh, on a granular level and then uh, broadcast that information, uh, things that we find that we believe are notable uh, for most of the people who are participating in the U.S. markets. Uh, and broadcast that directly to their desktop uh, using text-to-speech. So it's it's fast and immediate. All right. So let's um, get a little bit of uh, more about the company. How many guys are there? Um, are you developing this thing? Uh, where are you guys at? Things like that. Yeah, great question. Um, we're two full-time, myself and the CTO. Um, we have three other individuals here in Chicago that are working part-time. Uh, they do work in the industry. And uh, we... we started to work on our IP uh, late 2012 and we started development mid 2013 uh, and, and then as you know we're a bootstrap company uh, so we really began to do uh, development full-time uh, April of this year and we're right now in beta in private beta uh, we're just maybe two three weeks away uh, for launching uh, a private launch so we're looking at uh, the beginning of 2015 all right, I love companies that started off with the uh, founders being the people with the problems that they're trying to solve. It sounds like it's uh, for active traders, prop traders, day traders, swing traders. Go into a little bit more of the problem solution here. Um, you guys were, you know, trading just like this. You wanted some kind of solution that solved this uh, uh, this problem. Um, let's get into that though. Um, you know, yeah. were you losing money? How is this helping you make money? Things like that. Well, you know, let's dive into, you know, what exactly are we doing? Uh, in the simplest term, what we're doing is we're pairing up event detection algorithms uh, with a text-to-speech engine. And what's happening is when a notable market is uh, detected that's passed to structured and then passed to the text-to-speech engine, uh, which then will verbally broadcast that event directly to your desktop. Uh, a recent example, in fact, this is great, uh, was December 1st uh, of this year, just recent, was when we had uh, in the morning session, uh, Apple had dropped uh, rather quickly from 117 to uh, 111 in change within two minutes. Uh, that was pretty disruptive uh, and confusing. And News Edge Squawk verbally told us what was happening uh, well before uh, that two minute mark uh, was up on that drop. And that was faster than any other media source. Uh, in fact, we didn't see it posted uh, on Twitter uh, for about 20 to 30 seconds. Uh, later after we had reported uh, and even the news wires um, you know we subscribed to a handful and it took several minutes uh, for that flash to come through so uh, and that's the problem uh, current media solutions are slow to report uh, real-time market information uh, you know mainly because of the human element needed for processing and communicating that news so because news hedge is 100 percent automated uh, algorithmic uh, it provides the end user with uh, market moving information at the earliest point possible uh, and they receive it in a way uh, they, they instantly understand and they can stay focused on the, the, the current task at hand. So what goes into that engine that's telling it um, what to report um, on that algorithm? Where, where is that reading the news? Well, it, that's a good question. In fact, um, it, it, maybe our name News Hedge is just a touch misleading. We, we developed uh, our IP around machine-readable news, um, and then we realized it would be easier for us to launch uh, using exchange data uh, for reporting notable trading events, uh, trading halts, trading curbs, 
uh, things of that nature, uh, exchange glitches, uh, and that happens more often uh, than you probably think. So what we ended up finding out is uh, once we started uh, pulling these events out uh, and seeing some notable trading happening, that um, usually about 40% of the time there's news behind it, if not more. So, uh, for example, you saw SodaStream spike yesterday. Uh, we broadcasted that um, 30 seconds prior to seeing it in the newswire. Uh, so it's things like that where we're starting to see um, some interesting activity in the market. We sniff it out, and when we broadcast it, uh, majority of the time there's news, rumor, or a Twitter rant behind it. All right, that, that is uh, uh, very cool stuff. Now, what about the news that maybe not be, um, isn't price spikes or anything to do with the actual stock like that? You know, CEO steps down or makes comments, some analyst uh, moves the stock. Do you guys still get the audio on that? Uh, we currently do not. We're going to be rolling that out, uh, leveraging machine-readable news uh, with, with our vendor uh, in the second quarter of 2015. So we, we know how to do it. We're, we currently did it or have been doing it. Uh, but it will not be available for the public um, for about six months. All right, cool. So you know, in private beta still, so no numbers or metrics to report. Are you guys self-funded? Did you raise money to, uh, for the venture? You know, um, we talked to a few investors, and we found um, some of our investors uh, who are active uh, traders themselves uh, love the idea, but really they didn't understand the concept. I think it, it kind of went over their head. We quickly realized that we were spending a lot of time and money on trying to uh, raise capital. Uh, in, in, in doing that, we decided to just scratch that and uh, you know hit the street and, and push something out. And um, I, you know we're, we're open for discussions at this point, uh, and we always will be. But um, the strategy right now is to to basically launch and grow organically. We we have a pretty um, sizable uh, database of individuals who are interested in our product. Uh, we've been having some pretty big discussions uh, with some interesting groups. We're finding even newsrooms and market journalists are interested in what we do uh, because of uh, them trying to track uh, what's happening news-wise in the market. Uh, so it's, it's been an interesting uh, last few months as we launched the website to get our name out. Uh, really, we've been keeping quiet for a good year, year and a half. And just now we're starting to see uh, some serious traction uh, with the help from Benzinga, too. We appreciate that. Hey, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to help people make money through the great products that we see out there. Um, and I really like this because we see a ton of traders out there with the millions of them on Benzinga that are trying to find a better way not only to get um, the news faster, but disseminate it and put context around their trading. So uh, okay. these types of products and tools are fantastic. Um, how about you give us a 30-second elevator pitch here to wrap up. If you had 30 seconds to tell us why you guys deserve to win the FinTech Awards here at Benzinga um, for helping people create money, this one specifically in the capital markets, um, let's, let's hear your pitch. Well, you know, uh, let's look at how we help people save time and money. Uh, we're commoditizing costly exchange data uh, and processing power. Uh, that costs us a, a significant chunk of change each month. Um, and our, our product is uh, it's easy to use. Uh, there's little to no learning curve. You, you literally you log in and you turn up your speakers uh, and keep your ears perched. Uh, that's about it. Uh, and we're making this accessible to anyone and everyone, uh, from mom and pop trading on their Robinhood app uh, to Joe Blow at Goldman Sachs. Uh, we don't discriminate. Uh, if you have $49 a month, um, you know we're going to treat you uh, the same. And uh, another great uh, benefit, too, is that we don't charge exchange fees. And that's a problem that we're seeing in the industry. Uh, I'm a Series 3, Series 7 rep. And a lot of the times when I want to use a, a platform or a software application that has market data in it, um, I'm getting charged exchange fees. And I, I, at one point, I was being charged over $500 for monthly exchange fees. And that's ridiculous. That system needs to be overhauled. Uh, so what we did is we made sure the product did not disseminate any exchange quote related data and we're conforming to uh, the exchange rules. So uh, I think it's um, just a, a, if you look back a number of years now really uh, there hasn't been a new shift or new media uh, method uh, or solution within the financial sector for disseminating real-time market information uh, other than maybe social media. 
uh, sharing. You know, there's some great platforms out there, but that's been around for a number of years. I think what we're doing really uh, represents what innovation is. Awesome. And I love to see technology again helping democratize these types of tools, information, and resources uh, for traders. Um, Kevin, thanks very much for joining today, man. Great to learn about News Hedge. Yeah, Kyle. Uh, we'll look up for uh, next week for sure. All right. Hey, uh, everybody, that again is News Hedge and their president and founder, Kevin Evenhouse, um, talking about how they're changing uh, the way we look at information and use it to make money. Um, this is the Benzinga Fintech Awards. If you want to go see more or vote for News Hedge, go to BenzingaFintechAwards.com and view all the videos there. All right. Until next time, we will see you later.